In today's video, we're going to talk about the wiring diagram of ETOS. Welcome back to a series of ETOS tutorials. So today we want to talk about the wiring diagram of ETOS. So every unit has its own unique diagram. So let's grab that together. So our unit here has, as I said, its own diagram on board. So therefore I'm going to open the door and in this little um, package here, we typically find the specific diagram of that unit. Depending on the complexity of the system, you might have more or less pages here. Another way to get the manual is to scan the QR code with your smartphone. This way you will get direct access to the database. For sure, an online connection is required for that. So once we have the diagram available, either in paper or digital form, we can start taking a look at it. So the diagram typically holds a full overview of your system and then it will specify the different components that are installed in this specific unit. So in that picture you can see the front panel for example, the control panel including the hardware like the CPU and the measurement cards for analog signals or voltage signals. Also we can find the DIO signals, the digital input output contacts that are available uh, in every unit. So that further page here shows us all the interconnections between the CPU and all the other modules. Mainly this is a connection scheme for customer to ETOS and also ETOS internally for 24 DC power supply, for example. Now we can take a closer look at the measurement cards. So in this case, the UI3 for the voltage and current measurement of the network situation here. That card covers now the motor measurement. So in this case, for the torque monitoring of that ETOS unit, specific measurement card. And then we can look at the digital input and output contacts. So in this case, digital input contacts, for example, breaker contacts, relays and other control signals locally in the cabinet or remote signals from a customer control cabinet or control system. Some further freely configurable contacts, input contacts that we can use for any kind of signal. Then we have the output contacts, for example, raise and lower signals if we have a VR function on board, controls, um, status contacts, also maybe for a cooling system if included. All kinds of signals can be mapped here. Also, we have freely configurable signals available here. And then also the analog signals are um, represented here. On each of these pages, you can typically find in the lower section an example connection for further sensors. So no matter if you want to connect a displaying device, for example, for a tap position or actual voltage level, that will be driven by a 4 to 20 milliamp signal or 0 to 10 volt. You can also include easily input to ETOS, so a source, for example, oil level indicator that delivers um, a straight 4 to 20 signal. Um, and also PT100 or PT1000 can be easily connected in two wire, three wire or four wire mode, depending on what type of sensor you have or which technology you prefer. Thanks for watching and see you again soon in the next video.